Good afternoon. This is the July edition of the Cannon County Chamber Connection Show. And of course, this is always made possible by DTC Channel 3. I am Carolyn Motley, and I am the coordinator for the Cannon County Chamber of Commerce. And my co-host is Sue Conley. Hello, I'm Sue Conley. I'm the CEO of Stones River Hospital and DeKalb Community Hospital. And she is also on the board for the chamber. That's right. And we want to welcome you all here on this nice hot July day. <laughs> and I think it's gonna get hotter before it gets cooler. So that's okay. I fussed all winter, I'm not gonna fuss. That's right. It, I'm, I'm really it. glad to see the warmth. Me Feel too. The warmth. <laughs> yeah. Me too. We do have a guest today. Well, we have more than one, but we have a guest right now. We have Deborah Shahan. And Deborah is the director that, uh, a new director for the Senior Citizen Center. And you've been one month on the job. That's right. And seven years on the board. That's right. What's going on, Deborah? <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel after a month? <laughs> well, I feel a little bit better than I did the first day. I'll, I'll say that. A little overwhelming the first day, but uh, it's a great place, a wonderful place. It is. And uh, met so many wonderful people. So I am enjoying it. Well, good. So you've been on the board for seven years, so you kind of knew the whole. Yeah, there, I did. Knew a lot about uh, the Senior Center, wonderful, you know, uh, operation there. Uh, but there's nothing like doing it hands on. That's right. And kind of being in charge. So yeah. had not a clue about everything that was involved. So I'm well, learning a lot. Watching being the boss lot. puts a whole new it sure does aspect to it, doesn't it? It does. Sure, no. yeah, <laughs> it sure does. It sure does. Yeah. I said, well, I'm a social worker. Oh, okay. So with social work, I love people, love interacting with people, uh, like learning about new resources. But the that the operation of accounting is a little bit new to me, budgeting, that kind of thing is a little bit new to me. So that's been a little bit of a challenge, but I'm, I'm learning. Okay, well, <laughs> what are some of the programs that you have? You, actually, you probably, um, Connie probably had some things in place oh, lots that of you things. would carry on with. Uh, one thing I did want to mention, this was your first year of the good old days that you actually were at the helm of that. How'd that work for you? <laughs> well, actually, our board of directors, we have a wonderful board of you directors. Do. They were actually at the helm of good old days. I volunteered uh, to help for a couple of weeks just to kind of get familiar with everything that mm -hmm. went on. So our board was really in charge. And, and Carla Bush, of course, is our chair, chairman. And uh, they did a wonderful job. But um, I did learn that there's a lot of work. Of there course, is. I knew there That's was some it. work, but didn't know how much work. So. Any time you put on an event, even a small event, yeah. there's a lot of work to it. But when you put on one of that magnitude mm -hmm. and you have so many different aspects of it, like music and pageants and I don't know what all went on. Oh yeah, and just getting <laughs> yes. all, of the, yeah. all of the work done and you've got to have announcers and judges and yeah. people don't really realize. They just think you throw up a few tents and <laughs> It's and a lot of coordination, work, you know? and it really starts, um, you know, probably at least three or four months ahead. Sure. We have right. lots of, sure. of meetings to get prepared, and then we couldn't do it without all the wonderful volunteers and yeah. the people that volunteer their time to help us. So. Well, it was very nice. It was. It was, it, it looked, it was yeah. cold. It, it was, was cold. and you don't have control over that. No, so. not the weather. <laughs> nope. And that's with any outside event Absolutely. that you have. Is mm -hmm. you're going to have that. Uh, you're going to have that happen to you, but um, no, it seemed to go off fine. Um, and of course, that was the same night anymore. We have so many things yeah. that you can't hardly find a weekend that you're not running into something else. Mm -hmm. you know? Prom. So we had prom. Prom, <laughs> and, and it did affect it somewhat, but um, oh, we just still had the a lot change of, good of just the change of place. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. you know, the school was fine. They yeah. still had a big crowd mm -hmm. out there. They so. did. Yeah. So that worked out well too. Well, what are some of the programs you're looking at at the Senior Center? Um, a couple of things that um, 
we've had suggestions for, you know, I, I told them when I first came, I said, we want and I want the center to be what you want it to be. So right. I've been sure. really open to a lot of suggestions for things, new things or things to keep doing. Um, a couple of things that have been really suggested were day trips, getting those started back. They love to go places, love to travel during the day and just short trips. So mm -hmm. we've got Miss Mary Bobo's that we're going I, to in I did see that coming that up in did. August. And so we've had good good response for that. We've had a lot of people to sign up, so we're excited about well, that. What is Mary Bobo's? Um, have you never been? I have never been. Mary Bobo's <laughs> is in Lynchburg, am I wrong? Yes, Lynchburg. And um, it's a restaurant. Mm -hmm. Oh, originally a boarding home. It's okay. a lot of a lot of history behind it. Hmm. But they serve their meal family style. So you sit at a okay. big Everybody table. Everybody sits at one table. Okay. Pass it around. Whether you like them or not. What do you like them or not? Good southern food. So. Well, good. Hmm, now I'll have to go. Yeah. Well, you might want to go well, with I might want to go with you. <laughs> I think you, you do allow other people to join up to. Go on them. We do. Know. The only thing about our day trips are there's limited space. Sure. So the first 20 people to sign up and actually pay uh, get to go. So, so how, how old do you have to be to join the senior center? Sorry. <laughs> 60. Oh, 60. Okay. <laughs> are we joining? <laughs> I'm not close. I'm, I'm close, but not there yet. <laughs> I just thought, what the heck? I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, I, I doubt I'd be able to go either. Mm -hmm. But. Um, Anyway, you have some other programs. We do. do. Not uh, we're getting June. excited about our uh, summer cookout. That's a big thing for July. And uh, we're going to have it indoor instead of outdoor. But we're still going to have a cookout. And then we're going to have lots of games and fun things for them to do and compete with and participate They like in. that. They, they like they bingo. Like yes. Bingo is very popular at the center. It's and really, everything is relative to fitness, right? Yes, we have a great exercise program, and so the um, cookout maybe not so much, but everything well, else. We can is exercise right. after the cookout. <laughs> we can make long lines and make them walk around the building to get there. But our water aerobics class, uh, our, our water exercise class, is what we're calling it, uh, is going on right now, and we're partnering with the uh, pool, the community pool, to be able mm -hmm. to do that. And um, we have some sponsors for that that are helping us um, pay for lifeguards, and so. That's been a popular in a, um, exercise program this summer. I right. bet. And then you, of course, you have your soup days, and oh, and it, I think bingo's every day, isn't it? And well, we have line dancing. We try and, to do it every Monday and Thursday. We do have okay. line dancing. We have a ballroom dancing. Ooh, on that Wednesdays, sounds like fun. Wednesday evenings. I guess you can't take that by yourself, can you? It's kind of hard to bother, <laughs> to bother dancing by yourself. Okay. You hard. can go over there. I, I they will. have a psych ward over there. <laughs> No, we have the psych ward at our place. <laughs> no, that would be, if you wanted to go over and waltz by yourself. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, some of us like to dance and we don't have partners that like to dance. <laughs> I'm just throwing I it out I got one that would, but it has to be a certain kind. He's not much for a variety. Oh, oh. Dance. He just has the one dance he does. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Okay. I should imagine we wouldn't have any trouble finding her a partner. I don't there. think so. No. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm <laughs> good. I'm not picky. <laughs> and they, they do enjoy all of this. Plus, you have oh, the exercise yeah. in the fitness room. We do. And, um, the, the yoga classes. You still have mm -hmm. those. We do. We have the yoga class. We have a, a exercise class that we call a classic. And then mm -hmm. we have the yoga, and then we have the water exercise. So lots of different exercise classes through our Silver Sneakers program going on. And then our, you mentioned our fitness room. We have people that just come in, exercise in our fitness that. room, and leave. And so um, we have that open during uh, our business hours. From you eight still to four. give computer classes? Still have. Uh, we don't have classes going right now. We haven't had as much of a need, but we have Mr. Jim Gibbs, who is kind of on call. So if anybody has a problem or wants to learn a little bit more about the computer, he's available by appointment, and he's glad to oh, come in nice. and do that. So that's really nice. We still have our computer room. Do you know how, do you know how many members you have since you just started a month ago? I didn't know. If, you, you know, sometimes you just go in and you rush in. And you don't have all the yes, details. Yes. Well, we have around 1,500 oh, members. Uh, yeah. We are going that's through really that good. and kind of making sure that everybody's still sure. uh, active and needs to be on the active role, but. Uh, on a given day, um, like last week or maybe Monday of this week, we've had around 70 um, 
people that come in and out See, that's the a day. lot that's that a really, lot that 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 a lot really attend mm -hmm. yeah. out of that. I mean, it doesn't sound like much out of 1,500, but I'm sure that a lot of those 1,500 you give home visits to. We or, do. We have our uh, help program to where we are either calling on the phone to reassure or going in the home to provide some services. So, yeah, we, a lot of, we offer a lot of different things so that a lot of different people can come in and out. Some people still work. Um, right. but want to come exercise so we have a class at night for exercise that they can come in and participate and then we got some people who just like to travel so they go on our day trips or sure they like trips, music so. too don't they and we are looking that's been another big suggestion that I've had um, is to bring back our music night and so we are working on that so at least probably two nights a month we will have uh, music well, and different good. groups to come in that's good so we're working on that too. So you just want to keep them active and interested. Huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So with your social work background, are you thinking of other other activities or other things that you can do to help help people? Or well, we're you... really trying to build up our help program mm -hmm. uh, to go out in the community and yeah. identify needs and maybe offer a little bit more resources for people in the community. I think that'll. Uh, help with sure. that. Also, maybe a little bit more educational programming to where we can offer different types of education, maybe about uh, mental health awareness um, and some more health topics. So, Good. That, I think that'll. Good. Well, we'd be more than glad to help you with anything you okay. needed. So, okay. yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I just love it when things come together. I know, <laughs> Carolyn, you're such a matchmaker. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. You have a relative support care group that you're... Well, this is something that is new, and I got a call about this after we did our newsletter, so um, I did want to mention that. Um, I think it's going to be a great support group. This is called Relative Support Care Group. Um, Upper Cumberland Development District already has this program, but it's not really in our area. Okay. So uh, it's a support group for relatives who are taking care of children. So grandparents who have oh. custody of grandchildren yeah. or are taking care of them would be um, appropriate, for example, and may need some support. And right. So um, the first um, support group meeting is going to be on Tuesday, July the 8th, and it will be from 1 to 2 um, at, the the center. There's a lot at the of, center. Mm -hmm. I think there's a lot of grandparents that take care of children, right. and I don't mean just uh, because they want to see them. It's because right. they have total... Yeah. There is a lot of um, total care of them, mm -hmm. broken homes, and for a lot of different reasons why. Right. But, yeah. but I think you're right. So I hope people will okay. take advantage of that. Well, Deborah, we wish you the best, and Absolutely. we think the senior center is a great place. Mm -hmm. I always yes. have. We're a small community, and that's a that's a a big uh, facility. I mean, and the programs that they give mm -hmm. and the things that they do there are big time. They're not small town. No. But that's, right. uh, that's great that people have some place to go and just, you know, how many places can you go and have aerobics <laughs> and swimming aerobics and everything, you know? And play bingo. And, and play, play bingo, bingo and, and dance yeah. and, and dance. Line dance. I mean, <laughs> and boogie and do whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's available. You just come in and sign up. Uh, we don't have a membership fee, so oh, there you welcome go. everybody. Yeah. Everybody well, loves free. Okay. Okay. Now we have two more guests. That I know. Them. And you know what? This is if you look at all of us sitting here, we're all on the chamber. We all. We are. Well, yeah. I'm not on the board. I just work there, but all three of you are. Yep, it's an exciting time to be part of Cannon County Chamber of Commerce. It's, it is. It really exciting. is. Because we're yeah. fun. We are fun. We are There's fun. Lots of things that are happening and changing, too. Absolutely. So it's a fun thing. Yes, absolutely. Yes. What you have? I just brought some of my goodies that we have at the Blue Porch on a regular basis, and we're going to talk about some things that we do. But these are my pimento cheeses and chicken salad and cookies, and I have them always ready for you to pick up and take home. And I just thought I'd bring out some today. and send them home with you guys and give everybody some samples and All some right. ideas. I, and I have a family idea. reunion. That's <laughs> <good. laughs> you might have to get fresh. And you, you take all that to the farmer's market here or in Rutherford County? In Rutherford County, okay. yeah, we do. But we always have it at the restaurant available. Um, we make it fresh every week. Um, four different kinds of cookies, all sorts of different cold things you can take home, and we have them available. That's good to know. Mm -hmm. and, and I'm going to tell everybody right now, Wanda is not closing down the restaurant. She is having her sign fixed. 
I am. Yes, I'm fixing my sign. Yes, the sign is. And it's about dang time because it was crooked. <laughs> it was crooked. It was crooked. It would bother me every time I got here. It drove me crazy. It did me too. Yeah. yeah. So, so, but yes. How about you? Were you doing both of them? Yes. I've learned to pick my battles. <laughs> well, I didn't say I was a battle. It just drove me crazy. It, it, it drove me crazy. Because too. then I'd yes. have to stand like yes. this and look. Yeah, but it, yeah, my new and improved sign should be up this week. Perfect. So. Yep. But I, people, people seeing the sign going down and the fact that Wanda is closed until the 8th. And so when the sign went down, everybody thought, well, there they go. They're out of business. Yes. <laughs> no, we, we are still open. We will be open on the 8th. And um, we just had to have a vacation. We had a big event last week that we catered, and we just needed a vacation. So we decided to close this week, and we'll be open next Tuesday with all sorts of with goodies. With bells on. Yes. And yep. I don't know what kind of vitamins this woman takes. I don't, because she never stops. She's like that. Energizer, Energizer bunny. bunny. Energizer bunny. Energizer bunny. Energizer bunny. You know, and I'm thinking, whoa, <laughs> whoa, Wanda, sit down, take a break. Yeah, well, um, you never stop either. Well, I do. There's, you know, I just go home. When at we night don't and, see you, you right? Know, so you just go home yeah. and fall yeah. in the door. And, yeah, yeah I look real active here. But <laughs> <laughs> there's times that I am, and then there's times that maybe not so much. But Wanda goes all the time because she caters. She had a bed and breakfast. Uh, I don't know, are you still doing that or just nope. for certain people? Mm -hmm. just, well, no, not even for certain people. Stop. <laughs> even my husband can sleep. Moved moved down. Down. <laughs> I think he can sleep there, but nobody else is right. But no, we, our bed and breakfast is closed. It's been closed since January. Um, we still do private catering there as well as off site catering in different locations, but that's all I'm using it for. Well, you just had the taste of roller fruit that I did. was there mm -hmm. this yeah. last weekend. Yeah. And I had tickets for you. And you didn't, I, you I know, and I didn't, and I didn't I have there. any way to contact you, so I apologize. Oh, I that's okay. Dang yeah. it, I missed a good meal. <laughs> I, I did. Hate you that. missed a good party. Yeah, it was good. Dang yeah, it. we had a good time. Yeah, it was good. We were there. Right. You missed yeah. out. Yeah. Well, you know, I do work at the hospital. <laughs> well, and I looked you up. And yeah, but we'll talk okay, about it after. after we're off the air. It's okay. So, I'm yes. feeling a little bit I missed good food and a party. Yeah. And I needed yeah. it. Yeah. That's okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's all right. I could have probably found you, but I didn't want to tell them that. So. Yeah. Did you eat all the food? No, oh, I didn't go oh. because I had a cruise in. Oh. And I had to be here. Okay. Um, Neil. Yes, hi. You are the director of the Art Center. I am. Among your many hats that you wear. Uh, also on the board, um, you have a lot of things coming up at the Art Center, right? And one of them is a favorite, Shrek the Musical. Yes. I've not met Shrek. I can't wait. You haven't met Shrek? I haven't met Shrek. He's 6'4", six, 6'5", six, yes. He's, he's <laughs> big. He's big, he's fun, he's green. Good. Yeah. And loud. All and the loud. things you need in yeah. Shrek. That's yeah. good, perfect. No, it's it's a big set. It's a big, uh, big cast. Uh, I've seen some of the rehearsals, and the big dance numbers are, are spectacular. Good. Um, I okay. stepped in the studio while ago, and they were putting up the trees, as we speak. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I but, think your set design for it uh, is amazing. I went to uh, what was the play Southern Fried Funeral. Mm -hmm. Yes. And they had an entire kitchen, from the 50s, put up there. <laughs> Uh, built, built from scratch uh, yes, with uh, salvaged appliances and a working refrigerator. refrigerator. It was a uh, full-on set, and you know, it, I think it makes the whole thing more believable uh, when you're doing a realistic show. And then the Shrek show is certainly more comic book, you know, fantasy, right. animated, and, and it's a definitely more cartoony kind of experience. Mm -hmm. But Cody Rutledge does a lot of our set design work, and he's doing this show, and it's you know, he's just here hours and hours making it work. Wow, I bet he yeah. is, because that takes time. But it's in a very, a very small area that even the Southern Pride Funeral, which if you guys didn't see that, you missed a great play. That was funny. Um, it kind of rang true <laughs> in a lot of respects about funerals. Some of it was would hit home. <laughs> it meant many people thought they uh, saw many of their family members. Yes, <laughs> I, bet, I, bet. I think everybody would have a family member that fits some of those people. I think everybody would. Um, when does Shrek begin? I have to look at the calendar because there's actually 10 performances. Usually we do uh, eight performances of a show, uh, but we've added two matinees, uh, two Saturday matinees, oh, okay. in addition to the Good. usual eight shows. So we open next Friday night, the 11th, and we close on Saturday, the 26th. 26. So there's three Fridays, uh, three Saturdays, two Saturday matinees, and two Sunday matinees. 
and the Saturday matinees, the later, the two Saturday matinees are also uh, sort of a, a lunch opportunity to meet the cast. So it's a separate ticket, it's a separate experience. Uh, there's a bit of a discount if you do both. So that would be uh, then a crazy thing. Back and we're back to, to Wanda on that. Because because lunch week. in the Swamp. Lunch in the Swamp. Yes, yes. Fun lunch is that. in the Swamp. So you'll be able to come into actually this room, which will be another small set. And all you can come in with your family and friends and kids and have lunch. We're having fried frog toes, <laughs> uh, yellow curly worms, garlic green stalks, uh, and we're having uh, donkey patties for dessert. So we've got some really uh, kid friendly, oh. kid friendly food that the adults will like as well. Um, be able to come in here, have lunch, and meet all the cast of the whole thing, and then have a place over here in the corner for pictures. And I mean, it's a fun thing. We've well, done this fun. is the third character meal we've done, and it, it's fun. It's really and it's well worth the the money and it's worth the time. It, and it's then a fun the play thing. is after that. Immediately right? after lunch, yes. Mm -hmm. And we've, we've kind of juggled that around a little bit. We've not ever done that before where you could come in and have a, we've always done breakfast with somebody, but this is, we're doing lunch, so you can go directly from the lunch to the, to the play. Because you so, got them all wound up. Get them all wound up, get them all sugared up, and then send them in the theater. Okay, that's, that's what we're going to do. Mm -hmm. yep. And, we're and they get donkey ears. They get Shrek ears. Shrek ears. Shrek ears. Shrek ears. Oh, donkey patties. Donkey they get donkey patties. patties, Shrek ears. They don't get donkey ears? No. Want, yeah, but, uh, um, that's Shrek. Pinocchio. Yes. Okay. Yeah. But it, it'll well, be a they're going to get some kind of ears now. I'm gonna yeah, they are right getting Shrek ears. <laughs> Green, not gray. And, and I promise you the parents will like the food. I, we do, we do adult-friendly food for this okay. sort of thing. They do healthy food. That You do. You do healthy food. Well, I don't know that fried frog toes and curly yellow Oh, well, I don't even know what the fried frog yeah. toes is. Yeah. I can't wait. Yeah. Um, I, I will be here for plenty of those. Uh, so uh, let's see, in the gallery right now, we've got Jim Everett's work. And if you haven't been in to see his work, uh, he does beautiful inlaid woodwork. Uh, prices range from thousands of dollars to just about 100. Some pieces are under 100. Uh, we sold a few right off the bat. He lives in Manchester. The work is really incredible. It's beautiful. Oh, the doors uh, are gorgeous. They are. They're you beautiful. just can't believe. I. Whew. They're really pretty. <laughs> he, he does custom work, uh, and then you can just buy off off the shelf or off the wall. But uh, you know, whether you want to buy or not, come see the work. It's just beautiful, mm -hmm. and as much it as really what you want to do is just let so you know what he's different. doing. Uh, he's been a regular at the White Oak Craft Fair, and that's coming up in September, September 13th and 14th. It's, time we're just flies we're down already the scheduling, you know, the details around that. Yeah. Uh, it's our 25th anniversary of the White Oak Craft wow. Fair, so you know, I think the news stories will be a little bigger, and, and uh, we're just going to push even a little harder to that's make it a bigger. That's my favorite event. one. I think that you have unique booths and different things that you don't see everywhere else. No, it's you're right. really, really nice, and the location. Now it's just beautiful. It's we, very we, nice. We've reached out. Uh, to craft artists all across Middle Tennessee, and uh, we have maybe 10 or 15 new people first time oh, ever good. showing this year. Oh, good, good. So, you know, we like the the old standbys who, sure. you know, you know they're working, you want to get caught up with yeah. them personally, but then there's new new faces this year. Good. Uh, good. So, uh, so Mr. Everett's work is up for another few weeks, but then we have uh, landscape paintings by Meg Garrett, also out of Manchester. I don't know if anybody can see this, but uh, her paintings are really beautiful. Um, so we'll be doing an opening on a Sunday, July 13th, and the work will be up for two months. It will be up until the White Oak Craft Fair. Um, Self-taught, uh, later in life, I think, painter, and lovely paintings. Mm. So we're excited about that show for her. It's our first time doing a show for her. Very nice. And after that, then we jump into August, and August 2nd is the uh, the reverse raffle dinner, which will be mm -hmm. dinner for between two and 300 people. Uh, will cook you know locally uh, right out of the farmers market uh, actually I and a bunch of other few people will be doing the cooking and then we go into the theater for a big game show a few hours and somebody will leave with five thousand dollars it's like wow. the price is right wow we go in there it is it's fun I it's last exciting. year was my the first time that I went to this the food was great but the reverse raffle which I wasn't sure what that was well now I know and I knew real quick I wasn't going to win it because you get a number, uh, right? Yes, you, everyone you gets a number. In, and, then, and then you don't want that number called. <laughs> the, la the last number standing wins oh, the money. That's okay. right. That's but you have opportunities to increase your numbers. If yours gets called, you have opportunities to. 
if you could get buy, back buy in, more no, numbers, could, yeah, you could trade buy, more yeah, numbers. You could yeah, it's interesting. Try to talk someone else out of their number. And Oh, I yeah. didn't see that happening. Mm -hmm. one. <laughs> yeah. With anybody that I was sitting around, I didn't see that huh. happening. And remember the gift shop, too. A really nice place to come in and grab a quick gift over here, you know, with last-minute gift shopping. and. Right. It's, uh, we're open uh, Tuesday through Saturday, 10 to 4, and the, the gift shop is always, you know, turning over inventory. And uh, we had a big sale earlier in the year, cleared out some older inventory, and we have lots of new things in the Good. building. Uh, August 8th, I don't, probably shouldn't get much further out than that, but August 8th, the Tennessee Mafia Jug Band will be here. Oh, so, well, you, there's a big crowd for that. Yeah, it's always. their second time this year, and uh, we're just glad to have them back. We're glad that we could all find time in our schedules to get them back on stage. I'd also like to add, uh, we have just started a huge capital campaign for the Art Center. Uh, we're trying to raise a half million dollars, $500,000, and uh, we're more than halfway there. Wow. So we're we're very excited about how well that's going. And is June 2nd one of your big fundraisers for that? Or is that uh, separate? August, August 2nd, actually, August 2nd, sorry. this is the first August. time that we will direct the monies from that to meeting uh, some of the campaign goals. Okay. So that evening should generate enough money to replace our, our lighting system, which very is good. 25 years old and actually was used when it was installed 25 years ago. Uh -huh. So if that evening goes really well, then uh, the new lighting system will be in place uh, the next few months after that. We just replaced our sound system last week. So if you've ever had problems with sound, I think we've got most of that under control. Oh, good. Wow. Got any good sound for system you. In. Good for you, Neil. I, I, I don't think anybody realizes how big the art center really is. 18,000 square feet. And wow. I, I didn't realize that. I mean, I knew when you came in, you seen this room and the restaurant and the play area, you know, where you have the plays and everything. But there's a whole nother town. Oh, the behind, behind the <laughs> stage, there's yeah. a huge workshop and the costume shop and then uh, the old restaurant space, which is classrooms and uh, storage for lighting and sound equipment. Wow. So it's, just the utilities alone for something like this is uh, a major. $2,500 a month just to yeah. keep this building heated and cooled. Wow. And I'd also like to take a minute to remind everybody about this event space we have here called Cannon Hall. It seats 200. It can seat less than that. We've had we've done weddings in here for 55, yeah. so it's a very user-friendly event space. You've that had birthday parties. We've had all sorts of stuff here. Yep. So you know, if you haven't seen it, if you haven't seen the art center as a whole, come on in, look around, have lunch at the restaurant. We'll give you a tour. Um, but we've got a lot of stuff going here. That's a we're a big. Uh, this is a complex. A, a good it thing really to have is. at Cannon County. So it is. And then of course they've added things. That they even had a. A cruise in out here, a car show, not long ago. Yeah, for and the that, FOP. That's mm -hmm. right. Yep. And then also they have the um, area down there where the farmers market is, and it is finally getting geared up because they're finally the vegetables are coming in, and I there I believe they're there. I know on Saturday mornings and possibly through the week. There, I've seen them. Yes, I've seen days. a couple of them down Monday, there. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. It seems that they're there. So if you're driving yeah. by, stop on in. It's local produce, you know, grown by your neighbors. Mm -hmm. And then if you go really early on Saturday, you can get the fried pies, which I did at six o'clock this past <laughs> Saturday. They got don't it. Last long. They don't last good. I bought a whole bunch. <laughs> yeah, they're really good. They're good. <laughs> Almost as good as Grandma used to make. And in. Did your grandma really? No, my husband's, no, my so husband's grandma, so not mine. No, someone's grandma. Some, yeah. Not mine. <laughs> and then in October, we're going to have something that we haven't had in Cannon County for a while, and that is a big top circus. Now, when these people contacted the chamber, I was thinking, okay, do we want to do this or do we not? Because usually the groups that come here are relatively on the small side. In fact, I think Sue Patrick told me the last one they had, the only animals they had were cats and dogs. <laughs> well, I got the foot. They, they were very well trained. <laughs> they were. And, and they had and cute and costumes. Cute outfits. Yeah, so cute outfits, that's right. Outfits. But I got the footprint <laughs> to this one. It's called Carson and Barn Circus. Um, it is going to be at in the back of the art center because there are fields back there and you will need fields. Uh, when I got the footprint, I almost panicked because I thought, oh, wait a minute, there's lots of elephants, not just one little skinny elephant. <laughs> there's lots of semi trucks. There's a huge tent. I thought, I need to talk to Neil. I don't know if we have room to do that. Yeah, or does not. it seat 500 or 1,000 people? The, the I think circus. it was 1,000 people. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So they'll be doing two performances uh, the same day. The only thing, it will be on a Tuesday. That was the only time they had. I tried for a weekend in our area because they're here for one day and they're gone. Um, 
You know, I, it might be worth coming down to see this group come in. I'm not sure because... Yeah, there's always a big to-do when mm -hmm. the circus oh, comes yeah. to town. Yeah. And when they told me in this literature that they needed a grazing area for the elephants, I thought, oh, wow. <laughs> oh, that'd be we good. have a grazing area. <laughs> we do. Yeah, uh, so we have we 100... We, there's 110 parking spots that we find for the circus, uh, but... Uh, Mr. Preston next door is also allowing us to park on his grounds, so we'll have plenty of space for people to come wow. see the circus. Mm -hmm. Yes, and that, that will be in October. And then plenty and of fertilizer be, after they you leave. Mean, That's right. I think they, well, wait a minute, maybe they told me that was my job. I'm not you sure. You have to clean up after <laughs> the elephants. <laughs> I'll have to reread that and see what my jobs are. <laughs> That's it. But anyway, that will be worth it. And we want surrounding areas to come to Absolutely. that, too. Um, I think this is going to be bigger than what I had anticipated, but that's okay. We can, we can make this happen. And you're gonna love it too. You just need to come. Um, anything else? What are your hours on your restaurant usually? We are open Tuesday through Sunday. Um, we do cook to order breakfast Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. We do lunch all those days. We add evening meals on Friday and Saturday nights, and we do an after church dinner from 11 to 2 on Sunday. So we have a website, um, our hours are on it. We always put our menu on Facebook and then the Art Center's website every day. So you can always call us or check the website about our menus. We do a different menu every day. And you should come on Thursday because it's Experimental Thursday. Oh, that's an Ooh. experience in people, itself. Let come me just, tell you, it is. Yeah, we come, come just, just for Thursday, Thursday to see what's yep. going really? on. Really? Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And is that when you're going to try, uh, try out your curly worms? No, no, no. no, no. We've already tried, <laughs> We've already tried <laughs> that on cash. No, experimental Did Thursday. I... We do really experimental. It's... Like, give me a, give me a example. Well, we've uh, done. It was Vietnamese food not too long ago. Yeah, and we've done food. South African. We okay. did All American last week. We do. I mean, we just we go off. Passover. There was. Uh, we did a oh, Seder. Seder. Jewish you did. Food. Yep. We did. Yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. So we did, and, it's, and that's our biggest day is Thursdays for lunch. Wow. Yeah. I have yeah. eaten things I couldn't pronounce. That's correct. Yeah. We do experimental Thursdays on. And yep. and, and the only thing is her son, who is usually a big part of that experimental thing. He just tells me, Carolyn, you need to eat this. That's awesome. But really, what you need to do on those days is come in and get a little bit of all of it. And that's what most people do. They get a sampler plate, so they have some of everything on Thursdays. Yeah, because... You need to do Hungarian. We can do Hungarian, yeah. yeah. But let's wait till it gets cold weather. Yeah, okay. Let's not do it when it's 100 I know. outside. I yeah. need steam. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. I, I can't tell you how great it is to be um, a part of the chamber and have a board that has people like these on it. Uh, our president this year is Ron Fryer with the Cannon Courier. We have Debbie Vaughn that has the gathering place and the old feed store antique mall. We have Philip Reed from uh, Ace Hardware. Um, we have Daryl Fisher who works for our county. He's our county maintenance. We have, um, Gary. who else do we have? Gary Hancock. Gary Hancock with DTC. Good heavens, how could I forget Gary? And John Barker. And John Barker with M Middle Tennessee Electric. Um, they're a great group to work with. And each one of them, uh, as a coordinator, I see they have their specialties, their fields. That uh, John Barker's all about the Perusians in the car show. He has been for years, you know. Um, of course, Neil with the Art Center. Wanda will. Anything that I want to bring in, Wanda says, well, have it here. And <laughs> There's never a time when she says, you know, well, we don't want that here. It's always, well, bring it here, you know. And, of course, Sue with the hospital, she used to be in uh, a big part of the community involved in everything. So all of these people have their strengths, and you put it all together, and good heavens, there's no telling uh, what we could have. I don't want to leave out Keith uh, either, and he is the DJ for WBRY, and he will also bring some things to the table too, so that help us out. So it, it's really great to have a board to work with that has this caliber of people on it because it makes the job of the director or the coordinator a lot easier to do. It really has. Uh, we do have other things that are going to be coming up. But one thing that I want to say right off the bat is congratulations to the Cannon County High School Beta 
for winning number one in the nation in their talent division. Wow. They went to Virginia and um, their talent division won first in the nation. So that's a great accomplishment because I, sometimes I think they don't get the notoriety that perhaps your sports do, but that certainly these kids take this serious and they work hard at it. So good going because I've went to a few of those and it's hard to win in those, it really is. Another thing we have that is kind of like a hidden secret maybe, uh, maybe it's not a secret to everyone, but we have a arts, uh, Canon Arts Dance Studio and it is owned by Lori Christensen, AKA Miss California. And by the way, that's where she's at today. But she is starting her dance camp and of course it will be July 7th through the 11th, but she has dance classes all during the year. And she has recitals that they have here at the Art Center. She has a number of areas. Um, they have ballet and pre-ballet and they have tumbling and yoga and tap, contemporary. They just have some music type classes and a lot more and Lori and her husband have bought an old building and they are redoing that old building and it's right on the square, right on Main Street. It isn't open yet, so if you're wanting to uh, attend her camp, you would register the day, the first day you show up on the 7th and it is located at 119 West Main Street. Is just for kids? No, it's adults, everybody. Well, they say from pre-K to teen or adults okay. and I know the yoga classes that she gives sure. are every Tuesday and I know adults do to those okay. and when we did the after hours in Murfreesboro um, she and some ladies came down there and, and did their routine yeah, they did. for them. They did. They were great. Yeah, they were they do. fun. Of course she's great. She'll get out there and dance to anything. Um, <laughs> we have two new members since we seen you last uh, to the chamber and of course we always are glad to have new members come on board. And they are Brian Guazan. Bashi, that I only know, I only know him by oh, his nickname. Oh, you don't know him by his first name. <laughs> it's Bashi, did I pronounce that, Guazan, yep. okay. He is an acupuncturist, certified in hmm. acupuncture. And um, I know not every, you know, the fact that needles are involved and everything kind of have some people shy away, but then there's other people who swear by that. So uh, he will be on the show next month. And since we're recording, I believe uh, we're gonna commit you to having a, a little bit of a demonstration done. And you'll, you. ha you'll have a bit of an acupuncture session in front of people. <laughs> I'll have to pick a, an area. You'll have to have some moonshine before you. <laughs> I told him that yesterday. He better bring a bottle with him if he was gonna use those needles on me. <laughs> it's, it's, not, it's very, actually very good. Did it help it, you? It did, it helped me a lot. Well. <laughs> It did. <laughs> Just think of what I was like before. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to ask all the area you time. needed this acupuncture in. I'm not going to go there. It did. But anyway, this will be interesting. So tune in next month because this should be interesting. I may pass out here at this table. Uh, another one we okay, have great is... ER. We'll take care of you. <laughs> well, I forgot the hospital is here. Um, Treasure Chest Antiques and Quilts is another new owner. Hmm. On the square, she's located at 111 North Cannon Street. And she is also gonna have a grand opening on Saturday, July 19th, and the ribbon cutting will be at 11 a.m. One thing that she has that we don't have in Cannon County and haven't had for some time is she has material oh. by the bolts. She gives sewing classes or quilting classes. She has... Um, everything you'd need to do any of that with, along with a small antique store too. So, you know, it's if you'll go in there and talk to Frida, she loves to talk to you. And she'll get you interested in learning how to sew. If you've never sewn anything, she'll make you think that you need to do that. <laughs> do we have more chamber members than we've ever had? Am I right on that number? Pretty close. Okay. It's it stayed pretty close. Right now we're probably at in the 90s, about 95, wow. which I guess to other places that sounds 
you know, Rutherford County would think, well, you ought to be out of business. Okay. But, um, but we're not Rutherford they're County. No, we're times not. our size. That's and right. We don't want to be them. We don't. And that's, uh, but it's fine because these people are, you know, they're interested in their community most yeah. of them. Not all of them are businesses. And we do have Rutherford County businesses that are chambers. But a lot of them are doctors in the medical field, veterinarians. We have um, private citizens that are chamber members just for no other reason than they feel like that's their contribution to making um, your area work because you need it. You know, the Chamber of Commerce is like a clearinghouse. People will call the chamber if for no other reason they don't know where else to call because I get calls on everything from putting septic tanks in to why they cut down trees somewhere, you know. I mean, that's just part of it. You mm -hmm. know, you're just going to get those calls, so I just answer them best I can and go on. It's okay. You should start making stuff up. Who, me? Yeah. I wouldn't have to make it. <laughs> <laughs> What no, do you, you don't have to make about? anything up. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. You mean on how to put in a septic yeah, tank? Yeah, well, just a second. I'll be right over. <laughs> well, if you, I've always heard if you get two barrels and put them together and dig a hole and put them in there, it works. I'm sure there's probably I, places. I, are we talking country-style septic? Is that what that is? <laughs> yes. I have friends who have done that. Yep, it works. It does work like that. It works for a while. For a little bit anyway, right? <laughs> See, you thought I was making that up. I really, I've heard that. <laughs> Um, the other thing is July 26th, of course, we have a cruise in the fourth Saturday of every month. Um, this, I think Saturday was the one for June, and it was, um, it rained off and on all day, and this kind of scares the car owners. We still ended up with having 50-some mm -hmm. cars there, which wasn't bad, but the time before that, we had 150 cars. So. But that's okay because we're getting geared up for a color of fall car show, which will be in September. And uh, we look forward to that. But that is the biggest fundraiser that the chamber has. I'm hoping that the, um, the circus might fit in that category too. <laughs> I'm not sure because we don't get all the proceeds from that, but we'll see how that works. But we're gonna have fun with that anyway. August 1st and 2nd, Red Apple Days in Auburn Town begins on Friday with gospel music in the evening um, in the park. Uh, Saturday, we'll start out with Red Apple 5K. They'll have games, food, music. Uh, the Lions Club will have their fish fry over there all day long on Saturday, I know. So I think they have a parade at noon, so you can go to Auburn Town. It's like Gasway, it's a small community, but they think big. And so if you want an enjoyable day, just drive over there. You may find something that you like and didn't even realize you would. August 29th, and Neil, you may have to help me with this, through the 31st uh, Short Mountain Disc Golf and Musical Festival. Um, the gates will open Friday 29th at 3 p.m. and you'll enjoy three days of disc golf music, moonshine, and fun. I'm not sure what a disc golf is. You played frisbee? Yes. Frisbee okay. Golf. Imagine playing frisbee on a golf course. Oh, well, that's not bad. No, it's a lot of fun. It is fun. But they have a lot of music planned, a lot of music groups uh, on uh, Friday as well as uh, Saturday and Sunday. And then um, this is actually a tournament type event, isn't it? Where you. I I don't know. I, maybe they've got it tied into other related events. You probably should get Bi Billy on here and talk about it before all that happens. Yeah, next next month. Good idea. I will if I can get him to come down. <laughs> I'll get him to come down. Yeah, he'll come down. But he really needs to because I have, I know what the festival is. I know what the music is. The disc Maybe golf, we could do I'm a demonstration sure. of the disc we, golf. We can do him. some frisbee throwing in here. Absolutely, yeah. we could. Yeah. You can do that while I'm doing the, the acupuncture. <laughs> <laughs> this ought to be a good show. <laughs> yeah. And then we'll have acrobats hanging from the lights. And yeah. Sue, what? anything going on at the hospital? Um, on July 8th, we're having a, um, a groundbreaking for the new ambulance center oh. uh, in front of the hospital. Um, Mike Gannon has uh, and, and his staff have gotten a grant to build a new ambulance center and well, uh, they need one they do and the hospital sold them an acre of land 
and it's right in front of the hospital, so we're going to be uh, doing that. We ended up with our um, our uh, weight loss challenge, and uh, actually, Cannon County won this year. And I okay. certainly cannot remember the beautiful lady's name that won. I apologize for that, but she uh, she did portion control, 45 pounds or something like that. So wow. she did a really good job, and her daughter was third place. So Cannon County will beat the cab this year. Well, I, I hate that. I know. <laughs> You know I'm sincere, I know, don't you? I know. <laughs> just, just lots going on. We're taking great care of patients, so yep. that's what we that's do. That's all we can ask. That's, that's what a hospital does. That's what it is. Also, the 29th of this month of uh, July will be the We Care Cannon distribution, oh, absolutely. which we talked about um, last month as far as for the fundraiser part of it which was a night in the islands and it went great. It was beautiful. It, it really was. It was, it was an nice. enjoyable time. They had food an was auction. Good. The you. food was wonderful. Thank you very much. Due to uh, this lady right here. What, was there a food theme? It was Jamaican mom. It was Caribbean. Jamaican. Okay. Yeah, Caribbean. That would be the islands. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I thought there'd be costumes and everything. There was a few Hawaiian shirts a and few. then Dr. Thomas, who I thought would be in full costume, uh, usually he is. He is. He had dreadlocks, didn't he? <laughs> yeah, that was all. Then he had on like cargo shorts, and he says, "Well, you know, I'm taking flowered shirts and yeah. everything like that." And he says, "No, this is Jamaican." Yeah. And Come I on. thought, "Oh, excuse me, yeah. I haven't been to the islands in a while." Yes. But he, it was a great event, and it was probably one of the best uh, presented. Uh, things like that that I've ever seen. It was as beautifully far done. It really was. It, it was, was extremely organized, and they raised a lot of money. Um, I think they ended up, and I don't know if this was the final final count, but eighteen thousand yeah. dollars was what they raised, which, which stays right was, here in this county. It stays with right. our yeah, own nice. kids. Very, very I nice. mean, it's it's pretty awesome. They get shoes, socks, underwear, haircut, medical exam, dental exam, and all their school supplies. Mm -hmm. It's a it's a great hearing event. eyes. Yes, yeah, right. Good. I'm glad you remember yeah. that part. For Cannon County kids. For Cannon County yep. kids yeah. only. Yep. yep. All the every, every school in Cannon County. And I think the money was raised just in Cannon County. Too. It, it, it was. So that's that's a nice thing too. It is. Yeah. I, yeah. Well, I think probably so, but I think there was some corporate. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. yeah. You know, there was some corporate. Well, it, yeah. I know the money hospital got five hundred dollars. So people, yeah, but yeah. people. But you're a member. Yeah, of, you yeah. Know, the community. There so. was um, there was a grill. I thought there was one of those green egg grills, mm -hmm. and I thought, well, I, I want to get that. It went for like over eight hundred and fifty <laughs> bucks. I mean, the, the prizes were great, and they yeah, went they for were. a really good. A lot of trips. One woman, the spirit moved her, and she got up and gave a week at her condo in Florida. And Florida Keys for to be auctioned wow. off in the Keys, and Make so a that was on that. yeah, yeah. I mean that they, the the prizes went. I mean the auction items went for high dollar. People were very generous. It's nice. They were. Yeah. And it, and, and it was nice. And you know the area churches, like one, one of them will have Undy Sunday, where you bring underwear. <laughs> Another one is, they do socks. They they have yeah. where you bring. They ask the. People in church bring, bring socks, socks and everything. And they do. It's great. And if you, you know, when you participate at the, you know, when you volunteer and the kids come through, it's really, it's really lovely. It's very yes, nice. And every, it is. There's more volunteers sometimes than kids. Yeah. It's, you go home with a warm and fuzzy feeling. Yeah, it's feed. really good. It's and really that nice. lasts for two or yeah. three days. But yeah. Dr. Thomas, <laughs> yeah, Dr. Thomas does a great job. He does. With that whole committee, Ron Post. That, yeah, that whole committee. Yeah, they does. do have a great yeah, committee. They, that, they work they, on that they do. year round, really. Yeah, they do. They do. They were, the Blue Porch is very excited to be involved in that, too, because yeah. that gets us, you know, gets us involved in the community. Yeah. And, yeah we, we do like a great it. job. The mm -hmm. food was great. Yeah, and Wanda buys a lot of tickets, too, because yeah. yeah. she yeah. won that trip to Florida. I did. <laughs> she didn't get it, but oh. she wanted it. <laughs> but Nathan, Nathan won it last year, though. He did. Yeah. Well, Dr. Thomas is in our ER on Tuesdays. I just share that with you. It's Thomas Tuesdays. That's when we are the busiest. He's very <laughs> he's personable. He's he, really he, he really is. He really is a very personable person. Ron Poston with yeah. Farm Bureau has a lot to do he with sure it does. too. So I don't know him as well. We're about so. to run out of time. Is there anything else anyone would like to add? Probably should have mentioned Senior Conservatory. We just finished oh, uh, yeah. two sessions of Junior Conservatory, and those and those are two two week. Uh, Summer of theater camp experiences with three different teachers, uh, about 20 kids divided between three teachers, 
and uh, we're starting senior conservatory next week. So there'll be two weeks again, uh, older kids, uh, same teachers with a performance at the end of it. So that's, there's a lot of activity in the building during the week right now. These little kids that came to this, now the first day they came in, of course they sang and never they sang songs and did, they were in groups I believe, weren't they? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, when I first heard them, I thought, oh my gosh, they're supposed to <laughs> have a concert at the end of this two weeks, and I thought, well, um, by the end of that, I actually thought they were, they had a tape on in here. I went through and I heard them singing, and I thought, is that that same group of kids that were in here really? to begin wow. with? Uh, your granddaughter was in there, and of she course, she, had a good time. she informed me uh, one day that uh, she really liked it. She was learning to act and dance and sing, and she and I said, "So you're enjoying it?" And she says, "Well, actually, I'm acting right now." <laughs> so I. <laughs> Yes, that's Cameron. That is hilarious. <laughs> so I thought, well, you're doing pretty good. <laughs> yeah, we, we've been doing it for 20 years. Uh, one of the teachers had been doing it, I think, for 20 years. Wow. And he's just, it's raising us another whole generation of kids. Wow. Very well. To enjoy the arts. Mm -hmm. That's very important. It is. It it's really is. Really Whether is. you get into it or not, you need to know about it. Yep. We're out of time. We want to thank you all for joining us uh, for the uh, Chamber Connection Show. We will see you hopefully next month, and we want you to have a safe and fun 4th of July.